Conan the Barbarian is brought to the brink of paradise, or is it damnation, when the mysterious woman tracking his hunting party lures Conan into the icy wastes? Will Conan find the answers he seeks about the existence of gods? Let's find out in our review of Conan the Barbarian number 15 from Titan Comics. See you in three. Welcome back to Comical Opinions. This is our review of Conan the Barbarian number 15. You know, it's always a good idea to put a name to the face. Writer Jim Zub unveils the identity of the mystery woman by putting Conan through the ringer, driven half-crazed by bewitching beauty. Zub's arc begins with Conan searching for gods that may not exist, but by the time this issue is done, he'll have a new outlook on life. Before we dig into the current issue, let's recap what happened last time in Conan the Barbarian number 14. He allied himself with the Acer men as he traveled through their territory. When one of the Acer villages was attacked by a rival clan, the Vanir, Conan was the first to charge ahead, lend aid to a slaughtered village, and join the Acer party to hunt down their attackers. All the while, a mysterious woman, who we now know is immortal, watched and schemed to make Conan hers. So that brings us to the current issue, which is Conan the Barbarian number 15, where we begin at the end, as all things do, of Conan's fight against the Veneer Raiders. The young Sumerian stands alone against the last Veneer warrior. Njord and his warriors have not yet reached the battlefield, but Conan chooses not to waste time by dispatching the last Veneer as quickly as possible. Writer Jim Zub immediately picks up from the last issue by forcing Conan to fight until he's got nothing left in the tank. Of course, Conan would stand victorious, I don't think anybody's surprised by that, but the words he exchanges with his last opponent, as the two trade comments about which afterlife is waiting for them, remind readers about the spiritual quest at the heart of Conan's current journey. If every tribe, clan, and individual has a different idea about spiritual matters, which one is true? This is the heart of Conan's journey in this arc. When the deed is done, Conan is suddenly struck by a brightness that blinds his eyes and forces him to kneel in the blood-soaked snow. The mysterious woman floats down, bright hair flowing like golden waters on a gentle stream. Conan assumes from the color of her hair that she is from a nearby Veneer tribe, but she mocks Conan's ignorance. The more they talk, the more Conan becomes entranced by her beauty and his desire for her. The woman says her village is further than Conan can walk, but if he wishes to see it, he must follow her. Before Conan can say another word, she quickly sprints into the icy wasteland. Jim Zub creates a dance of words of confusion for the titular hero. As the woman points out, all Conan can conclude is what he can see, hear, and feel to the length of his sword, which is the struggle that first put him on this journey. The woman taps into Conan's primal senses and desires to egg him on beyond rational thought. In a roundabout way, Zub creates an opportunity that so many searching for faith experience, which is surrendering your logic in pursuit of something more than what you can see, hear, feel, and touch, to get in touch with something that's natural or even supernatural. Conan chases the woman through the snow and rough terrain. Suddenly, the woman is stopped by a godly flash of power, which is, to her, her father. We don't hear his words, but the woman responds to his thoughts as he argues with her about claiming a mortal for herself. When the bickering is done, frost giants emerge from the ground and attack Conan, presumably at the order of this woman's father. Despite his dazed mind and exhausted body, Conan fights beyond mortal limits to defeat the frost giants. Here again, Jim Zub uses the latest development to echo the obstacles one might encounter during a search for faith and meaning. The woman, representing the internal need to connect with a higher power, remains just beyond Conan's grasp as they race through the wasteland. When it seems Conan might finally catch up, massive obstacles emerge to test Conan's resolve, forcing him to push beyond his limiting belief. For a Conan story, Jim Zub is tapping into deep philosophical and spiritual themes. Energized beyond all reason, Conan chases after the woman again after he defeated the Frost Giants, but she can't stay ahead this time. Conan grabs her, and just as the two are linked together for all time, the woman cries out to her father for help. The issue ends with an explosion of light, the arrival of a friendly face, and the proof that Conan has been looking for. Overall, Conan the Barbarian number 15 presents mature, spiritual concepts wrapped in a ferocious Conan tale. Jim Zub is digging deep to dispel Conan's reputation as a sword-slashing meathead by sending him on a personal journey that reflects the struggles everyone can relate to. Let's switch gears and talk about the art for a second. Doug Braithwaite's art, 
from the authentic battle action to the copious amounts of still tasteful nudity hits the mark by bringing Conan's icy vision quest to visual life. The amount of pencil and ink detail is quite impressive. Plus, Diego Rodriguez flexes fantastic coloring muscles during the magical sequences, which are all dependent on the coloring application. It looks great. Let's take a step back and look at the big picture. We won't spoil the woman's identity here. She is given a name, as the opening first impressions implies. But it is a known character, so this isn't a new creation. This is actually somebody who is part of the original Robert E. Howard canon. If you want a hint, we're not going to spoil it here again, but if you want to know who it is, check out one of the original Robert E. Howard stories, in this case the one titled The Frost Giant's Daughter, for a clue about who it is. If you want to find out where you can read that story, we have a link in the written review included in the notes down below. Final thoughts, what do we think about Conan the Barbarian number 15? It leads Conan one step further on his journey of faith when he encounters the mystery woman who might send him to an early grave. Jim Zub presents a hard-hitting Conan story with surprisingly mature philosophical and spiritual themes. Plus, Doug Braithwaite's art is impressive. Therefore, Conan the Barbarian number 15 earns a 9.5 out of 10. The only reason it isn't a perfect score is just there's a little bit of pacing oddity midway through, but not a big deal. You're going to love this comic either way. Jim Zub makes the most out of every Conan issue, so the struggle we have is finding anything serious to really complain about. But what do you think? Are you as happy with this series as us? Leave a thumbs up if you are, and drop a comment below with which classic Robert E. Howard Conan story Jim Zub and Titan should build on next. Also, remember to click on the link in the description to read the written review, check out all the preview images and variant covers, and buy this comic to help support the channel. Your support would be greatly appreciated. So thank you very much for joining, and stay tuned through the outro for more reviews just like this one.